Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of This Week in the Dunya <laughs> Let's jump straight into it yeah It's been all over social media you guys have heard the drama that's been going on in Sudan A lot of people going blue on social media but they don't know for who I'll summarize this for you in less than a minute yeah There was this bloke here yeah, who was the president yeah of Sudan His name was Omar al-Bashir He'd been ruling Sudan for a long time yeah like 30 years People got sick and tired of him In April they got rid of him But you can't just get rid of someone because now nah, who's gonna take over? Now before they decide who's gonna take over the military takes over But the military only knows one way to shut people up And that's through knocking some teeth yeah sorting some people out It's getting all violent killing people left right and centre mate and people are resisting one guy his name was Muhammad al matar that guy died his favorite color was blue yeah he died supposedly protecting two women his friends went blue yeah so they changed their profile picture blue which was apparently his favorite color and then eventually that started becoming the color for solidarity for the martyrs in Sudan yeah so that's what's going on at the moment pray for Sudan may Allah make it easy this transition for them but the military is taking a mick now let's move on where are we going next Boris yeah if you guys don't do drugs you occasionally comb your hair and you're not racist mate you're overqualified to be the next UK Prime Minister mate because here have a look majority of the candidates are druggies now here this British Louis Theroux looking bloke he's saying you know what if we start digging up their past even if it is like drugs and stuff there's gonna be no one left mate I'm sorry mate that doesn't mean that we have to elect any Tom Dick and Harry that pops up this is a concern and hang on a minute what sort of democracy is this where all these rich blokes yeah decide who the next leader is how comes we don't get to decide mate this is some dodgy democracy mate Alright freedom of speech yeah freedom of speech is proper confusing mate yeah they say freedom of speech for everything when it's religion and Muslims Nigel Farage But I do think in a free society we should be allowed to criticize each other our lifestyles our religions Thanks a lot Nigel but now Nigel was cussed by a comedian he lost the plot mate he started you know asking police to get involved and said that's hate speech mate we got to distinguish between inciting hate and all that that free speech does have its limits and incitement to violence incitement to harm against the person is beyond the realms of what is acceptable but when boris said the comments about the niqabis by dehumanizing them as objects and people literally calling them letterboxes as they're cussing them down using boris's rhetoric inciting hate Nah mate the conservative party said nah mate he was respectful taking a mick mate taking that absolute mick and then this guy says mate you gotta calm down don't be snowflakes even if it's highly offensive well, people mustn't be snowflakes I, I can't believe any of your viewers are snowflakes flip and neck mate here the new york times did a cartoon yeah it was uh, against the jews they had such a backlash that they decided to stop doing cartoons now mate but you don't hear that in the mainstream media people mustn't be snowflakes all right let's move on to our mate donald trump yeah the most powerful man yeah the wait, wait let me say the power the most powerful man he retweeted an extremist bigoted anti-muslim hate preacher katie hopkins that list doesn't sound very appealing mate but that's probably the criteria that donald trump looks for when hiring his new staff mate he releases a tweet yeah in which he gives us the impression that he thinks Prince Charles of the UK is actually ruling over fish he thinks Prince Charles is some sort of retired Aquaman now Donald Trump when he came to the UK the only kind of main guy from the conservatives that wasn't invited was Sajid Javed or oh, sorry let me pronounce like Sajid Javed yeah you know the, tin, the the Tindu guy I'm just saying for those of you that don't know yeah this guy's relinquished his religion his ethnicity he just gets used mate he's just a tool yeah the tool is only useful when it's doing something for someone 
by itself, you, you know what I mean, you don't respect the tool, but Donald Trump still doesn't trust him. I actually get the impression that you know what, he might actually be an Asian <gasps> because you know what, when an Asian doesn't get invited to a wedding, they don't stop banging on about it mate. How do you feel about not being invited? Um, I, I, I don't like it. Yeah, I think uh, for the reason that you just said, and uh, it is odd. Uh, I, uh, you, my office did ask uh, number ten, and they said no. So uh, you'd have to ask someone from number ten why they made that decision. It's just proof that this guy does have a bit of Asian left inside him. I'm going to end with this, which is the death of the first democratically elected leader of Egypt, Mohamed Morsi. A lot of people are very upset with his death. Now he was removed by the military-backed coup some years ago and he was being tried for espionage charges and even that coup it's said to be heavily backed by the US. Surprise! People are saying yeah he died when he was supposed to appear in court blah 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 and you're not gonna hear much but when you dig a little deeper they're saying when he was in prison he wasn't getting the family visits that other inmates were getting he wasn't, I mean he was a very ill man yeah, with diabetes, he wasn't getting the health checks, he was in other words, they were slowly kind of killing him off by not looking after him, neglecting him, eventually the guy's body just gave up. And Muhammad Morsi was actually a decent guy compared to the stooges that are there now yeah, that CC guy, I mean CC, that sounds like an insult more than a name mate, you know what I mean? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and until next time, Salamu alaikum.